Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Art with Margo and Morilla. We're so excited that you're here. They're excited to be here. Is that right, Kitty? <coughs> yes, they are. Oh my goodness, look at these kitties. <coughs> guys, in this lesson, what we're gonna be talking about is perspective. So this is what we're shooting for. So we've got varying sizes of kitty cats. So we got a really small one, a bigger 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 one, and the biggest one. So all together, what we're gonna have is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven different sizes of cats, okay? Whenever you look at the sky and you see a rainbow, I don't know if you can count them, but there's seven different colors inside of the rainbow. Now that's because white light, when it's refracted, the clouds act as little prisms, refracts the light and it makes the light go where it spreads out. And it causes the light, the white light to be dispersed into its seven colors. Now the, uh, the way I like to remember the order of the rainbow is with Roy G. Bibb, that, those abbreviations. So obviously Roy is R, O, Y, red, orange, yellow. G, the color green. Bib, B, as in blue. I, indigo, and B, violet. Violet is another word for purple. Indigo, now that's kind of a new one. A lot of students don't know what that means. Basically, think of a color that's in between blue and purple, or blue and violet. The... Now, what we're gonna do, um, we are going to need a piece of paper. So. Let's turn our papers, let's start off with the pencil. Let's have our paper facing up and down or vertically, right? Vertically, okay? So, we're gonna start down here, okay? And we're gonna use our three little fingers down here. Now, this is gonna be our first cat. So this is about the size we're looking at, okay? So well, the first one is gonna be like this. So we're gonna make kind of a curved line like this. Go out, up, go around, up, down and around, okay? So we got something like this. So I made a mistake here, no big deal. I'm just gonna get my eraser and just erase it, okay? That's why I like working in pencil first, just in case I make a mistake, easy fix, right? Now, uh, we need to make seven of these for the seven different colors of the rainbow. So we gotta make sure we make enough size variance to make sure we can get the different sizes up until the biggest one here in the back where we can barely see its eyes, okay? So now the next size we're looking for, this is the next size that we're looking at, okay? So just a little bit bigger. So we're gonna go out a little bit more. Don't worry about the face yet. We're just working on just getting the body right now and later on we'll do the details of the face, okay? So same kind of thing, the ear, the other ear, and now the other side, okay? So just like that, so we got one, two. So we're gonna go up like this. Make an ear, go across, make another ear, go down, go like this. Now you notice this isn't perfect. It's okay if yours isn't perfect. We're not looking for perfect. We're just looking to try our very best, right? And the fourth one's even bigger than the third one, but look at the size comparison. Look at the fourth one and compare it to the first one. Wow, that's a really big difference, right? So fourth one, I'm gonna start right about here on our page, go up, make an ear, make another ear, or the rest of the ear, do a curve line, go up, down, and curve it, okay? Now it's okay if it's not perfect. We're not looking for perfect, we're just looking for trying our best, okay? So we got one, two, three, four. Four cats, now we need three more, okay? Let's look at the other three sizes that we got. So we got this one, and this one, and this one. Okay, so this one, this one's pretty easy to where we just do like this, all right? So let's start right about here, okay? So we're gonna go up, go down, do a curve line, go up, down, and another curve. Wow, there we go. So we got one, two, three, four, five. We've got five cats. Now we just need two more. Go up, go down, go around. Try to make this a curve. Oops, I made that straight. 
you always try to want to try to use curve lines whenever you're drawing stuff because it makes it look like it has more um, shape and stuff where it looks more three-dimensional. A lot of times when you draw flat straight lines, it makes things look super flat. Okay, so I know this, this looks a little bit different from my example right here. No big deal. That's totally okay. It's okay if your cats look different from my cats. Every cat is individual. It's perfect. It's great. So last cat. Last cat is these lines right here, and you can barely see the eyeballs. Okay, so let's go up here and make a little line right there. And let's go over here, make a little line right there. Boom, that's the seventh cat. Now, let me show you the details of our cat. So the first one we wanna do, let's do some squinty eyes. And now for the nose, here's the cool thing. So we're learning about the colors of the rainbow. We're also learning about perspective, the different sizes. Perspective is just another way of, of seeing things, right? So for the nose, we're actually gonna write the letter R. The reason why we're writing the R is this, this cat's gonna be red. So let's do the next cat. So I'm gonna draw two circles for the eyes. And then what's the next color in the rainbow? So if we're spelling Roy, what's the second letter in Roy? Oh, that's right. So let's draw some O and some whiskers. Maybe if you want to put some whiskers next to that R2, you can do that. The next cat, so I'm going to draw some, some more circles. Now, say if you're really good at drawing, you know, fancy anime eyes or whatever, you can make your cat have fancy anime eyes if you want to. But the nose is super important. So the nose, we're going to make this one into a Y for yellow. Now the next cat, maybe spread out the eyes a little bit more like this. And we're gonna make, so it's Roy G. So we're gonna spell the G as green, as for the color green, okay? Got some whiskers there too. Next cat is going to be Roy G. Bib. Okay, so let's make some more eyes for, man, these cats have really squinty eyes, right? Now, uh, in the middle, we're gonna put a B, as in blue, the color blue, right? And get some more whiskers going on there. And second to last color, so let's put some more circles for these little, little beady eyes, right? And we're gonna put the letter I for indigo, okay? And that's the color in between blue and violet, or blue and purple, okay? Now the last, last cat, I'm gonna put the eyeballs on the edge of the paper. I'm gonna make this kind of super big eyeballs and then looking down like this, okay? And then I'm gonna put the letter V for violet, okay? And there you go. And there is your different size of cats with the colors of the rainbow spelled out in the first letter in their noses, okay? so. Right now, I'm gonna fast forward really quick. I'm gonna go back over it with my fancy marker here just to make it look even better. Kind of like my example here. Here we go. Okay guys, so here we go. So we got our finished Rainbow Cats perspective drawing. And I have my friends here with me, Marilla and Margo. And we're here to say thank you so much for joining us today. And we'll see y'all next time. Okay, bye.